Go. All right. My name is Jet. I taught Intro to Pendulums this year. Uh, basically, the synopsis of the class. Um, I wanted to illustrate how diverse and versatile pendulums could be, uh, primarily to a beginning spinner. Um, I feel I felt that pendulums, for the most part, are often overlooked when a lot of people pick up poi initially. And I feel like the earlier someone starts to incorporate pendulums into their style, into their their spinning, um, the more they can can start to play with them and see how wonderful a tool they can be. I mean, honestly, a pendulum is is, is just is just a back and forth motion. Anyone can do it, but honestly, like putting it together with your own um, your own flair, your own form, you can really kind of create these really unique um, patterns, shapes. Uh, you can create your own style, and you can adapt it to all sorts of tempos. If you have really short poi, you can um, play. Your, uh, you can swing to a really a quick beat. If you have, if, if you lengthen them out, you can kind of get more of a smooth, uh, flowy motion. So I really started with, with having um, my students just, just take a poi and, and start spinning it back and forth in any area that they were comfortable in. Uh, just getting a feel for, for how the, the poi would behave. And then after that we'd incorporate uh, the other hand and finally the second uh, set of, or, or both poi, into uh, certain patterns. I showed them uh, how you can incorporate pendulums, for example, into like a weave pattern where you would suddenly stop your weave and, into, and go into sort of, uh, a sort of TikTok pattern. Uh, I showed them different ways that you can incorporate this pattern with pendulums. Uh, from butterfly, you could go into uh, a different sort of butterfly pattern. Um, I basically encouraged my students to kind of pick what they were comfortable with, um, the moves that they already knew, and see if they can incorporate pendulums and to make their style of spinning a little bit more unique to themselves, um, kind of own their own, um, to own their style. Uh, from there, we brushed upon um, 1.5 weaves, which I feel are, are fairly integral as far as pendulums go. They're, they're a move that may not have been covered in other classes as Wildfire, and I wanted to be able to sh uh, touch upon that in case it hadn't been, especially for those people who may not have been exposed to uh, 1.5s. Uh, what else did I cover? Uh, flower patterns. We went through different types of positionings for arms for flower patterns uh, when <clears throat> concerning pendulums. So if we started the, the 3 o'clock, branching to 12 and 6, and then 9, we can kind of incorporate this sort of flower pattern into a pendulum or at the, uh, the 12 and 6 in, in sort of a, this sort of chaser flower pattern. When you incorporate pendulums into that, you end up with something that looks like this, but you can also kind of pirouette with them. Uh, incorporate different styles of, of combinations, pirouettes, zigs, Different stuff that I wouldn't consider super technical, but something, like I said, I feel it's it's overlooked as far as, as basic moves that can really help an individual spinner um, bring out their own personality and their own flair into into the performance. And uh, that was really the goal of my class. So um, uh, feel free to email me on the site if you have any questions. Uh, I'll happily respond to anything you have. Uh, thanks.